Hey guys, it's me, the Big B, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Gaming, and welcome to Trashman. Now, this was a novel concept for a game, especially in its time, and I've not seen many like it since. You basically play a Trashman. You've got to follow your bin wagon up the said street, and you've got to empty the bins before the bin wagon takes off and leaves you standing, and then it's game over. You've got, obviously, obstacles. You've got disgruntled neighbours if you don't put the bin back properly, you've got pets to deal with and you've also got a little bit of a frogger theme going off because you've got to get from one side of the road to the other without get, actually getting run over it which is not as easy as it sounds and everything's running on a bit of a time limit because you've got a bonus running so if you try to inject a little bit of gameplay or what gameplay you could into a into a game where you're playing a trash man basically so I'm going to jump straight into it guys, we're just going to get straight on with it um, da -da -da, I want the keyboard do I want to enter my name? It's one of those. Um, I suppose I do want to enter my name. How do you enter your name? Like that. B C D E F G H. And that's all I'm entering. I'm not going to enter my whole name because we'll be here all day. Right, we've got empty five bins from Montague Road. Here goes nothing. Press the right key. Right, off we go. You basically, you're gu guiding this little, basically, bin man around around. You go and pick the bins up. You run in and out. And you empty the bin. It's as simple as that. A couple of taps, just to make sure. He's running a lot faster now. He's emptied that bin. Whoa, but you're having to step on the grass. If you step on the grass, you start losing bonus, and you start losing bonus fast. Get across the road without getting run over. So you must not step on the grass. It's just been moored. You don't want to drop any rubbish on it either. Right, and you do get neighbours that come out and um, residents of the houses. Right, run, run before any cars come. Ooh, that was close. Run a bit faster, obviously, when you've got the bin full. We'll get this one emptied and get up there before this bin wagon decides to take off and leave me. Run, run. Again, very simple premise. Interesting graphics. You've got a. A pseudo, oh no no no, a pseudo 3D effect going off on the houses, which again for the time was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. Don't you run away without me. That's that one done. Whoa no, I went too far. Ah, stop it. Oh, do you want a tip? Yes, thank you. I'll have a tip. Do you think I'm a megalomaniac? Just give me a ZX81 and I'll control the world. <laughs> Yeah, I think you'll need a bit more than the ZX31, pal. Right, next set of houses. And I do remember you had um, dogs that used to come running out at some point. And again, if you get hit by the dogs, it's game over. You can't run over onto the grass because it then knocks your bonus down. Get that in there. Get this back. I've only got, it, I've only got an MP5. Drop that down. Would you... Oh God. Would you look at my TV? I suppose so. Let's have a look at your TV. Come on back out the house. I meant not watch it. <sighs> Ooh. Right, come on. I'm getting how many bins I've emptied now. Yeah, just putting me off getting wrong for watching the telly. Come on. Ooh, that was close, that was close, that was close. And again, you have this little frogger element. Blimey, he was speeding. You have this frogger element going off where you've got to get... Got to get some get me teeth back in. You've got to get across the road as quick as you can without getting run over. Ooh, that's a bad place to be. Right, come on, next bin, next bin, come on. Yay! We did it, we did it. Good day's work. Three, tra -da 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 -da. tomorrow we'll do another street for you. Let's see how fair, well, you fair. One to tip. Oh, that's off the whole screen. Trashman, BH, go and collect six bins from Pulteney, Pulteney, Pulteney Road. So, well, go and collect the bins from somewhere anyway. I uh, remember this one, now you get to run around the back of the houses. This makes it a little bit more difficult because you don't want to go too far and run onto the precious grass. God forbid. Oh, wrong way. Chasing the bloody bin rag in the wrong way. He hasn't gotten that far yet. But again, simple game mechanics. Simple game play. I'll go around this way. Simple game player. And if anyone comes to the door, I'm not going, no, you can forget it. I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. I haven't got time to stand and talk to you guys. 
I've got six bins to do this time. Again, simple premise, kind of pushing the graphics a little bit further. The graphics are really, oh, bikes, oh, I forgot about oh! Newsflash, trash man killed in Poly Road. A nice feet, trash man for the year, pride. Da, 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 da. Game over. Oh, I got into the high score table at least. We'll have another quick go of that. Because I didn't do very well. Come on, keys, keep working. And not gonna... Here we go, collect five bins from Montague Road, rinse and repeat. Unfortunately, it's that type of game where I'll probably do a, an edit cut for you guys so you don't have to sit and watch me play this all over again. So by the magic of YouTube and the magic of editing, let's jump. Alright guys, we're back. I did the whole first level again, twice, because I ran out of time. That's what the bonus is at the top. If you run out of bonus, you get fired for being slow. It's as simple as that. So we'll carry on from where I left off. You've got to literally... Collect these bins, not step on the grass like I just did, because you start losing bonus rapidly. And your bonus happens to be your time, which I didn't know at first. So basically, get these things empty. Now, I think when the people come out and the offering you a tip, I think that gives you extra bonus. I think. Except I didn't get one there. If you get hit by a car, it's instantly game over. So you try not to do that. I assume the bikes do the same. Um, I've not been hit by one yet. I've been hit by a few cars, but not by a few bikes. Let's just try and get these bins emptied as quick as possible without getting run over by anything, if one can help it. And see if we can get some bonus. And see if my supposition's right that by getting some tips from the people, that, that boosts your bonus back up. Because it has to, because you've got very little time. Right, let's have a look. He's wanting to give us 50. We're already 162. Do we get a bonus for it? Yes, we do. So that's how you make extra time up. And um, be careful not to get by a bike here. So if anyone comes out and they want to give me tips and things, I'm going to have to take them. That is the only way I'm going to be able to get any extra time. But again, like I said, very basic gameplay, very simple. But that's all you need. Just a bit of gameplay, a little bit of magic. Oh yes, we'll have some of that. A little bit of imagination. And that's all we needed. We didn't need fancy graphics. We didn't need explosions and all these fancy 3D effects. Oh my god, that was close. That was nearly hit and run. Jesus. That was really close. Right, let's get these last couple of bins. I've got to get six. I've lost count of how many I've done. Obviously not six. Time still kind of okay. We could do a little bit more, really. Let's just see if we get anybody coming out the house to give me any extra time. Would be handy. Yes, no, yes, no. Am I going to get a tip? I'm going to get a tip. 50. It's a TV thing. I'm going to get wrong for watching the TV. I know it. Yes, get wrong for watching the TV. I haven't had any dogs or anything yet, any pets come running out. I think what they do, I don't know whether they actually kill you direct or whether they just make you panic, you run and you touch the grass and your time just goes to shit, basically. Your time just drops off. You touch the grass and your time literally goes down in less than seconds that it's going down at the minute, which it's going down really quickly, so I could do, to be honest, with someone coming out this door. Thank you. Extra 50. Yes, please. Hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you. Across the road. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. News flash, trust man killed in Pulteney Road, if that's how you pronounce it. Nominee for trash man of the year, Fred Scrunge, BH, that's me, leaves wife and three kids. Oh, God, wife and three kids, what are they going to do? Well, again, that's trash man's, guys. I'm not going to go and play through that again. Again, very basic idea. Very noble idea for the time. Um, again, you, I suppose it's a good job, but you don't get games sort of like this anymore. I don't think they'd actually sell a game like this. Even if they rewrote this for, for the modern age, I very much doubt that anyone would want to play it. Because, um, well, actually, saying that, they did. There was a company recently, uh, in the last couple of years, brought out a bus simulator, and they brought out other types of simulators. I'm sure one of them 
was where you played a bin man, but it was proper 3D graphics. You got in the bin wagon, you drove it round. So they actually did remake it, or not this exact thing, but a modern equivalent, which I am quite surprised about. It just popped into my head there. I thought, why would they want to? Even though this was good in its day and it's all we had, and it was sort of like, again, holds a little special place in my heart. But yeah, they did. But the ironic thing is, if I remember rightly, of the reviews of that game, that it got panned because it was boring as hell and crap. And again, yes, playing a big man is boring, but back in the day when we had nothing else, we didn't have our PlayStation 4s, we didn't have our Call of Duties and Grand Theft Autos. This is all we had. This was magical. This was a game we could play. It's something that hadn't come before. So I don't know what I'm going to play next, guys. I might um, try a racing game, maybe something like that. I've got a few lined up. Uh, there's others like Wheelie, which was a classic, which was driving a motorbike, but again, it was more platforms. You would you're driving over and you could do awesome jumps, I remember, but that was more based on a, on a platformer. You got classics like Checkered Flag that came out. Oh, God, I remember that. That was, I remember going out to actually buy that in the shops. We actually went out specifically to get that one, and at the end of the day, it was expensive, and I just remember the magic of bringing that cassette tape home and that was a, a proper 3D driving game. That was so awesome. I will, I will play that at some point, but I don't think I'll play it next. I'm sort of ticking over in the head. I've got so many games that I can play. So many games I remember that it's that it's it's mind-boggling to try and choose which one to play next. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I will just basically surprise you next time. I'll just have a bit of think about it, see what I want to do. And obviously, it'll be it'll be a nice surprise for you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope it's inspired you again a little bit to to go back to some of these games, to play them, to try and you know relive some of our youth and get some more enjoyment out of these awesome, awesome classic games. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.